around. Look at all that free energy out here. See that sunshine? That's free energy for you. Stop being a slave to the electric company. Stop being brainwashed to think that you need to have perfect sun to have a nice solar energy to store up in the batteries. Even on cloudy days up here in the Pacific Northwest, I'm able to crank out, be able to charge these batteries. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. But it just has to be enough juice to supply the batteries. And it's a numbers game. So what if you only use or you only get six hours in a Wednesday and then an hour on a Friday? You're still clocking down the kilowatts per hour. So you need something like this. This is in the description below. This is the Marlboro 30 watt solar panel. It'll power all these different units right in here with the different plugins. It has, the reason I chose this because it comes with these guys right here. See, it matches the plugins for all those. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see what the, the plugins are at, but you can be able to charge like this big boy here. I'm going to zoom in on this big boy right here. Big boy right there. Takes this big guy right here. Turn around. See my plug in? Kind of hard to see there. Focus. I'm going to take that guy off and I'm going to plug it in. plug this in here like so okay and then you plug it in this big boy here okay I'm gonna pull it close to you so you can actually see in the camera actually can you actually see oh, you can see that you see that see it's flickering there it's actually being charged it's already full that's why you see double zeros on the bottom right hand side that is actually powering this right here it's fully charged okay and the easiest easiest way to get started in solar is get one of these boys 22.5 watts start powering your phones stop plugging them in, in the electricity in your outlets it's a waste use the Sun charge these guys up and then use this to power your phones I would do my rotation principle, get two of these, charge one, and it charges quickly, you know, as if you, as long as you have good sun, then you swap them out and you charge the other one so you have another one backup ready to go and you keep swapping them out back and forth. This is how you reduce your dependency on electricity. That's why electricity company hates guys like me because I'm out here to teach the masses how to serve your purpose and conserving your money keeping your money your money and stop giving it to the damn electric company they don't deserve your money they're just trying to reap you under the coals to overprice electricity okay this guy see that it's connected to put this back here it's connected to the solar panel see that pan over here it's connected to the solar panel there you go see it's charging even solar panel to charge my camera up there it's battery operated no electricity baby see that ran a wire all the way down USB and it's powered by the Sun if you charge in outside like this make sure your battery is under the shade so it doesn't get too hot stop being a slave guys learn to harness the Sun
Check it out. Here's my solar panels, baby, on top of the shed. 1,000 watts of pure bliss solar energy, baby. Can you dig it or what? <laughs> Eat your heart out, electric company. I got your number. Solar engineer in the house, baby. A little tour of the solar setup I have. Self-taught. Kudos to all those guys on the internet that I learned from how to do solar when I was up and coming and didn't know squat about solar. The green guys here, those are the solar controllers. And what they do is they charge the batteries and take the information from the solar panels and regulate all the necessary things so not overcharging and not killing the batteries. Two of them, baby. Down here, we got another battery. Back up. To the right of that, that white thing with the blinking light, another solar charger connected to the battery. On the top shelf, we got battery number one, battery number two, battery number three. We also have a portable plug-in battery charger in case for the winter time. It's hard to see there. So 70% chance of, or 70% energy-wise for running on solar in the winter time, almost 90 guys, almost 90% in summer. Can you can you feel that? These bad boys right here, these long guys, those are the inverters. Takes DC current and changes it into AC, which is the alternative current that powers the house because you can't run off DC or most houses are running off of AC. Another charge controller, another bad boy off the other solar panels you saw earlier. So you got one here and the other one right down there charges this battery here. I'm planning to probably put another battery here. Oh, another plug-in charge controller for the winter time for that bad boy. We also have another inverter down here. You can actually see the display. I'm hooking my fridge to this one <laughs> in the summertime. Majority of the time in the summertime, I hook my fridge there. And you can see the plugins. They're all plugged in. The wires run to the corresponding auxiliary outlets there. <laughs> so you don't have to have this extreme setup, guys. All you need to do is just start like I showed you with the portable Marlboro solar panel. A portable one you start your solar journey stop being the slave to the electric company start your journey <laughs>